Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and this time we are going to go as good old little panda. I haven't really tried panda before, but we've got smaller hitbox which is nice. Randomize weapons thrown in a portal and we can throw our weapons. Okay, so we've got the chicken throw ability, uh, but yeah, we can... Oh, this thing's kind of crazy. Okay, this thing swings fast. But yeah, whenever we go into a portal, uh, I mean, I'm assuming that means ones that are held as well, or maybe it's just thrown will be randomized. Let's try it out. So let's see if either of these get randomized when we go into the portal or not. But this could be pretty interesting. I like the idea of this character. Our thrown but um short shorter teleport delay, more thrown damage. What does shorter teleport delay mean? I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a go. Okay, so these haven't randomized at all. So it's it's kind of interesting that we've got a way of keeping our weapons if we want to keep them and a way of replacing them if we want to replace them. I like that. Being able to change things up on the fly whenever we want to is really, really nice. Um Maybe we'll learn sort of now what, what the throne butt means and how useful that's going to be to us. Because I'm, I'm sure, like, the throne butts of the modded characters so far have been pretty good. So let's throw this in. Let's throw that in. Um, and then, yeah, we got all sorts of stuff here. We've got blood rifle, grenade launcher, toxic launcher. <laughs> grenade launcher plus toxic launcher. Maybe not the best combination of things to grab. But there you go. We've done it. We are one explosive boy right now. But yeah, having a smaller hitbox as well is really, really nice. <laughs> the toxic launch is not that good, really, considering it's a massively delayed explosion. You still lived? Okay. I don't know how I didn't take any damage there. That was kind of crazy. But yeah, it's, it's a big delayed explosion. And then obviously you've got the issue of getting the rads back while there's poison all around you. So it's not, not ideal. Okay, cool. Frost Pistol will take over that thing. Um, we will, of course, go and eat that in there. I wonder if we can upgrade their quality or if they always stay the same quality. I'm not sure. Flame SMG is pretty good over Frost Pistol, I think. I do like the flaming things. Flame tends to produce some fire. <laughs> I quite like that. Good old crossbow there as well. Now, one thing I'm not going to do, which probably people would rather me do, is throw every single one in. It's just going to be a pain if I do that. Do you want to... Crossbow, do you want to, like, try and stay? There you go. Yeah, I'm not going to throw every single one in all the time, because it's just going to be an absolute pain if I try and do that and waste a bunch of time, essentially. It's going to be too much. Cool. Pizza time. I want to stick with these weapons for now. Um... Okay, we got it. Grab that golden crossbow there. Um, golden screwdriver. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. It's always nice to do this as a character, just to get some early golden weapons unlocked. I really like the fact that you can do this with this mod. Ooh, explosive crossbow. No! No! <laughs> explosive crossbow. Oh, no! Okay, I technically didn't throw it. It's fine. I thought that would have uh, disappeared uh, and re-rolled it. But apparently... That is not how it works. A quadruple direct shotgun. We're getting some very high level weapons right here. Um, I've not actually looked at where my car is right now. I'm a little worried that I may have already exploded it. I'm m currently more than a little worried that I may have already exploded it. I certainly don't see it. I'm going to just whack around the edges because sometimes it's like nestled into the corners. Didn't really think about using an explosive thing there. Damn. Yeah, I think I I think I I think I biffed it. I think I've messed up. Right, let me just grab that and eat and grab that and eat. Did that miss? Did that seriously miss? Oh no. It seemed to go in. Which didn't make the noise. Um go with some puffy cheeks. Yo, yo. Okay, this one just went through. It didn't technically count as a throw. Maybe I was, like, too far off screen or something. I don't know. So far, though, I'm pretty happy with what we got going on. I think I don't need to be re-rolling all the time. Um, oh, wait. Oh, uh, it's just Puffy Cheeks making this thing look gold. I was confused why it was gold for a second there. Ow. Got hurt by some fire there that I was not expecting. But, yeah, I think this thing's more than good enough right now. Okay, cool. 
grab all that. Infuser, you say? We'll lob that in there. Don't know what the infuser does, but taking it for a reroll bouncer SMG. No, thank you. This is doing us just fine, this thing. I mean, if we can get, uh, what's it called, herming on this bad boy, then we're really in a good spot. Let's take out this. Oh, it went. I, I didn't mean to go straight through that, but there you go. Um, do I take a crown? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let's have a little look, see what crowns we want to take. I've never taken this one before, Crown of Death. Let's just give it a go. Like, minus one max HP really isn't that bad. We're only on two HP right now. I'm not very enthused about that. Larger explosions here. It could be fun, though. I might just die here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, that death. Um, yeah, when I said I might just die here, I wasn't quite expecting it to be literally instant. But um, it, it, it very much was. We do get a start with a melee weapon again here. It is the good old golden screwdriver. Uh, which allows us to go straight over to the car. It's quite nice for us, actually. And it's, it's actually not a bad weapon early on, either. We get a grenade launcher as well, if we want that. We'll take it. I should go to some of the alternate floors a little bit more as well. I've not really been doing that recently. Um, I think I'll take trigger fingers this early on. It's, it's good enough. Um, and I'll take a crossbow... Oh shit, there's a inverted floor here, shouldn't there? What are you doing up there, buddy? You alright? You don't need to be up there, you know. No, I want to go into the inverted area, god damn it. Inverted area is no more for us. Stay away, fishies. The fish are actually kind of difficult. With a crossbow, at least. You can get those collaterals, which are pretty nice, but it's not always going to work out that way. Bit of ammo there's lovely. HP chest, very necessary. And blood pistol, no thanks. I would like this first, please. Not quite level 4, but oh well. Um, Go with second stomach. I think second stomach's one thing I need to take more often as well. One second. I received a phone call, and they immediately hung up. So I'm guessing it was a wrong number, or a scammer. Most likely a scammer. Seem to get a lot of scam calls. Probably because I pick up the phone so often. And let the scammers know that I'm a real person with a real phone number. Okay. Um, car's not on this stage either. Not that I saw. I think it should be next stage. Um, I will take power. Um, I do like it. Good stuff. I right, just got to be careful of the, uh, the big dog whenever he comes in. There he is. Just kind of ignore him for now. Do our best at ignoring him. I Unfortunately, I don't see the car at all. Have I missed it again? Oh, there it is. It needs to, like, stop spawning inside walls, man. It's very, very frustrating that it keeps just spawning inside walls. Go with puffy cheeks again here. See? Okay, we're taking damage, but it's not... All that bad. Unfortunately, we don't have open mind this time around, so we're not quite going to get that beefy amount of uh, golden weapons that we're used to. Golden shotgun, that's not bad. I think we've got an inverted portal down here as well, which is good because this is another golden weapon if we go through here. Good stuff. I love the music down here. Nuclear phone. When people are firing discs at me, I'm not too happy about that. Good. There it is. Golden machine guns, probably the best thing we've got thus far. Bit of radiation on this bad boy, why not? I don't really know what radiation does, to be honest, but I'll take it. Cool. Pretty good stuff so far. Um, yeah, Thurumbo, I'm not that interested. I, I, I just realised I should have been 
re-rolling my goddamn screwdriver. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. I keep forgetting. This character's ability is going to elude me a lot. Get in here with the screwdriver. The screwdriver's actually pretty good for taking out these fellas. Those, the reviver guys, I swear they used to be like way more annoying. Heavy shovel. Dude, okay. This thing with puffy cheeks. Do we have trigger fingers at the minute? We do, don't we? This thing with trigger fingers might be kind of amazing, actually. Okay, I'm down to climb with this right now. Is that it? Okay. I'm not trading weapon anymore. Um, doing more damage. Okay, unfortunately it's not going to be as good here. Okay, just got to be careful. Tried to reflect back some of the explosive shots there. There we go. It kind of worked out in the end. Wasn't the best, but... Yeah, this thing's going to be really good with puffy cheeks and trigger fingers in areas with a lot of enemies. We are going to be slapping through the composition. There's the scythe there as well. That does 35. What does the scythe do? 13, okay. Not not anywhere near as good, although it's definitely tempting because the scythe is pretty good. 35 damage is pretty hefty. I'm liking this quite a bit. And it's got a uh, Kraken on it as well, which is very, very nice to have as a ad little addition. Not major. It's not crazy, but as a little addition, I like it. Yeah, I like this. Um, That seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems pretty damn good. I'm liking the fact this thing can just blast through walls as well. It's so nice. Feels very powerful. Yeah, Kraken's helping us out a ton as well here. With like, little weedy enemies that are nearby. Right, um... Explosive. Yeah, bang that on it. Why not? Let's go for a different crown this time. Try something new. Um, ammo chests only. High chance of inverted portals. Let's give that a go. I do like the inverted portals quite a bit. So explosive plus Kraken on this should be pretty good. It's seeming to be thus far. I just two shot that guy. Oh, that was very satisfying. That was very satisfying. I'm just launching that grenade towards the enemies. Okay, is that it? Yeah. Wow, nice and easy. Um, kind of looking for long arms right now, but we'll take what we can get, I guess. I ain't gonna complain. I'm not really using the uh, abilities of this character very much, but I guess I'm getting use out of the smaller hitbox right now. I'm just really into the weapons and setup that I have. I don't really want to mess around with it too much. Oh, is that it? No. We've got another route over here. Puffy Cheeks is really, really good right now as well. God damn, there's so many enemies that are so far away from me. Hey, there's an inverted as well. Nice. Ooh, this area's a little hard on the eyes in inverted. <laughs> it looks very nice, but it's very green. Item drop. I think I'm okay for item drop, to be honest. Technically, I should put it on something. Let's put it on that. Thank you. Yeah, the shovel's ludicrously good. Really enjoying this. It's 
Splinter seems good on this bad boy. Unfortunately, this guy I'm not going to be able to hit with that lovely shovel that I'm using. This thing should be pretty good against him, though. Indeed it was. I was correct about that assumption. Splinter on this is even better. I'm like, I'm really liking what we've created here. We've got a nuke launcher. Uh, I, I do like the nuke launcher, but it's a little, a little wee bit scary. Um, I think impact risks when we're doing melee makes a lot of sense. Smack. Smack. How many hits for one of these big boys? Three hits? Okay, so three hits on the big boys makes this not quite as good in this area, but overall pretty good. Don't know what happened to that. Got an inverted area here. Laser yo-yo gun. Flame axe. Heavy shovel versus flame axe. I like that. Hmm. This is tricky. I'm going to stick with a flame axe for now, I think, and then move on from there. Just higher tier, so... Leads me to believe it should be better. Also, it works better for this boss when I've got nothing to kill for trigger fingers. Um... This thing is... Maybe a bit too good? <laughs> Okay. Throws pierce and deflect projectiles. More throw damage. Throw bounce towards enemies. Thrown weapons explode on hit. That's called fuck it. I like it. Turning badass is called fuck it. Throwing weapons explode on hit. Whenever you throw your weapon, it transforms into a random weapon of the same tier. Throws bounce towards enemies. All weapons are functionally automatic. You no longer th um, throw weapons. Instead, your active fires your weapon from the origin of your crosshair. Whoa. More melee swing rate. Portals no longer randomize weapons. Ooh. More we melee swing rate. See, this one sounds really cool, but I'm doing melee right now. So I'm, I'm going to give this a go. This thing's awesome. <laughs> the good old laser yo-yo. I love it. Hey, I unlocked a sea skin for looping by only... Okay, I, I don't even know what that was, but I unlocked something good. Okay, yeah, this melee weapon not got the same... the same level of stuff as that other one. Not quite as good. Elect. Okay, that is uh, something new to me. This thing's incredible. Crack an iron cannon. We've had good success with this before. I still want to find a new melee weapon, though, that's going to be good for us. Um, frost is very good. Reload speed. Double item drop? Yeah, double item drop seems like the way to go here. I can do this. I can take on the challenge. This thing turns things into sheep. Okay, let's take it easy here. Some of the small enemies like that, very easy.
Yeah. Ammo's coming in hot and fast. Got a HP there. God, this just fills the entire area with shots. It's so nice. What we got left? Good old little hunter. Which I don't know how easy it's going to be to actually hit little hunter here, but hey, we did it. Nice one. Okay. So, what are we going to change here? Because this is always the tricky bit. I want to change something into Kraken. That'd be good. Melee into Kraken. I'm going to try Melee into Kraken. Seems like it could be very interesting. I'm intrigued to see how that works. Right, through we go. I'll just stick with this crown for now. I'm liking it. Oh, yeah, this is... This is pretty busted. <laughs> With trigger fingers, this is pretty busted. Now it's just to find more melee weapons. I guess put explosive on this thing now. I need to find more melee weapons that I can fire even faster. That seems, that seems pretty good. There you go. <laughs> oh boy, I found something here, haven't I? Bugger off, assassin. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah, so melee for Kraken's a pretty winning combination here. Spam it so fast as well. More inverted areas. Collecting whatever all of these things are. No idea what they do or what they'll be used for, but I'm going to keep collecting them. Through here we go. Um, frost, lightning, radiation, more Kraken. Let's go with Frost. Let's go to the courtyard. Why not? I wonder if there's an inverted courtyard. Probably right. Yeah, Frost seems good here. Um... How do I choose which mod it's going to swap for? Damn it, it's normally, it normally tells you which mod it's going to swap for. You see it pop up then? I'm going to be like just in the right spot apparently. I don't want it to trade for item swap or frost. I want it to trade for fire, whatever the fire one is. But it's not giving me the prompt. Just look at you off a minute because you might be getting in the way. And I'm going to try something. I'm going to throw it. Pick it up. No. Okay, it almost didn't let me pick it up then. And then just use it. Oh, wait. I was holding the wrong weapon. Doesn't matter. I was holding the wrong weapon. Cool. To the next floor. Just come through here and kill everything. Wait, what? I died. I don't even know what killed me. I have absolutely no idea what killed me. Uh, yeah, I just died. <laughs> I think it might have been this, this little dude, or it was either... It might have been that dude. I find, like, these guys, the melee dudes, 
a bit too overtuned. I, I feel like they one-shot me a lot. <laughs> um, anyways, shall we go for another one? Shall we go for another one? Yeah, why not? Golden shotgun, why not? Now, do the gold weapons, like, transform into weapons of higher tiers? That's something we should find out pretty, pretty speedy. Threw it in. There you go. Let's, uh, let's just quit back first of all. And, um, see what our skins are. Oh, okay. We've got a little tutu. And we've also got this, what looks like a bear of some kind or something. Also, we can start with, uh, with crowns as well here. And we can start with the higher inverted chance, which I think is pretty fun. Yeah, I like the little teddy bear. It's nice. You get out of here, biatch. But yeah, that, that whole situation with the Kraken melee trigger fingers thing, I felt almost unkillable there. I think just my, my biggest issue is my mutations weren't very defensive. If I had some more defensive mutations, that could have been something pretty special. Right. The eraser. And the other thing just disappeared. Race is pretty good, but a bit ammo hungry. About to run out of ammo. Why can't I pick up the weapon? Okay. Police? No, thank you. Why can't I pick up weapons? Do the weapons, like, re-attract to me or something? Okay, yeah, I just, I don't have to do anything to pick them up. Oh, they literally, like, zoom back to me. I can be, like, anywhere on the screen and it'll just be like, whoop. Okay, that makes more sense with the throwing now. Makes a little more sense. Bye. Okay, um, yeah, we'll take that. Take puppy cheeks here. Grab the double shotgun. We can go straight to the courtyard. Fuck it. This seems like a terrible idea, but why the hell wouldn't I? The music in this area reminds me of Baldur's Gate 3. This is madness. Definitely more ammo. Can't believe you can come here this early. Nice. It's kind of wild. I wonder if it's an area that's worth going to early, or if it's always going to be a mistake. I think it maybe might have been that ion cannon effect that got me last time. I'm on 1 HP now, so things aren't, yeah, aren't going to go well. I think I'm going to leave the episode there. Um, kind of interesting. I like the character. I didn't really use the ability too much, but we had a fun run with it either way. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.